Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Steps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install facelift running boards on your Mercedes-Benz W164 ML class. So right now my car does not have any running boards at all. So I'm going to be installing the new aluminum running board. And I can show you on the other side I've installed it so you can see it before and after. Here's how it looks right after. Well, when you're done installing, it looks very beautiful. It gives your car a very nice new look. So in order to install the new running boards, what we're going to have to do is first remove the old plastic here. And we're gonna have to get rid of all of it. And then we're going to first set this aside. And here's the metal frame support. And we're going to mount this on. And then after that, going to slide this on and screw it on. So first what we're going to do is remove the jack stand supports, the rubber mounts like these. So you're going to need a straight screwdriver and there's going to be a circular screw and you're going to twist that open. Here's the screw. Pull on it a little bit and it comes off just like that. And now I'm going to open the plastic nuts. There are 10 mm, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's going to be the seven in the corner. So after removing all seven plastic nuts at the bottom, your next step is going to be, you're gonna have to, there are going to be three of the plastic push pins. One, two, and one's at the bottom three. And this is for the rear. And there's also going to be three in the front. And we're going to have to pop all three off and all six off and then remove them. So just get a straight screwdriver. So after removing all three, first you're going to pull the bottom plastic clip off and then just make sure the plastic bumper is free open your door and then what we're going to do is you're gonna to have to pull it a little bit forward and there's going to be clips right inside here when you make the gap you're gonna to have to push down on the, with the screwdriver and the plastic will pop off so right here these big clips just push it down and the clips pop out just as is, I'm doing. So for the front, there's going to be two pieces here. This one, the long main one, once you pull the last clip, it comes off. So this long piece comes off, and then for the small one, same thing, it just pulls right out. We're going to remove the 10 mm nuts here to remove this plastic guard. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and five in the other one. So after removing all the nuts, the plastic guard just comes right out. You just pull it. So for the metal frame bar, there's going to be the screw holes. Just align it and place it on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push it a little and then it gets straight because it locks in at the bottom. And then we're going to put the bolts on. Same thing as this side. And now we're going to screw in the top nuts at the top and then also the plastic ones at the bottom. So we're going to be using the new 10 mm nuts at the top. So tighten all 10 down and then we're going to do the same for the bottom. So after screwing all, all 10 nuts at the top and the nuts at the bottom, the plastic ones, now we're going to slide on the aluminum cover.
Are you going to have to have your doors open for this? So once you slide it on, right behind here, metal clips, and they're going to clip in the same places as the places where you remove the old ones. And at the bottom, you're going to make sure that the plastic goes into these grooves. So align it and push it and make sure they go into the grooves. So it's very easy to snap the clips in. Once you see they're aligned, you just hit it and it goes in just like that and it closes back up as it was before. So for the front right here, you're going to make sure this plastic slides on. Right inside you can see it, there's going to be the lock. You're going to slide it on top and then push it in and it will lock in. like how I did. Popped in. We're going to put the plastic push pins back on. So just as I did, push the pins back in, in the front and the rear. So if this video has helped you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.